So, what is dialogical fingerprinting? So, um, when people engage in arguments, each individual person um, argues slightly differently. So, whether this is the words that we use, or the way we construct our arguments, or at which point we talk within the dialogue, it's individual to each person. Dialogical fingerprinting is basically picking up on these different aspects of how people argue and using that to identify which person is making which argument. And what's the software tool that we have here? Yeah, so what we have here is um, essentially a visualization of this idea. The user is able to pick different machine learning models and um, features and then they can run this model on the um, episode of the Marvel Maze. This is a BBC radio program in which each different episode has a topic and then they bring on witnesses to kind of uh, discuss pros and cons of the issue. Um, so I'll give you an example here. If you pick just a progression model, pick an episode about D Day anniversary, and then we'll pick a couple of uh, features to look at for the model. You can then load this, and then when this is finished, we'll have a waveform of the episode which we can use to control playback of the audio. And then on the left, we will have uh, different features to tell us a bit more information. So I will. Uh, Play episode for you, and then I will skip ahead a little bit. And as we mentioned, that they would. And now we see that once we're a bit further into the episode, in the middle column here we have uh, the different speakers. So after each speaker has had a turn in the dialogue, their picture will appear. We can then select the different speakers, and we can get a bit more information about them. So in this case, we have Michael Burke, who is the moderator for the program, and. Um, and we're also given more information about the term emotionality. So in this case, emotionality is looking at the entire episode and comparing the different um, arguments that have been made. And we're seeing which one uh, basically uses more emotive language. Then on the left here, we have a chart which indicates the uh, performance over time. So uh, we can see here, that as more turns have been made, we've got more information about um, which speaker is talking and what type of argumentation style they're using where you can see an increase in the performance. So we have the speaker macro F1 in the role. Uh, underneath this we have ideological scaling as um, participants in the um, discussion enter into the discussion they will start in the middle and then we basically use a comparison between different uh, participants to see what they're saying about the issues and whether they're for the issue or against the issue, and we can sort of draw a comparison based solely on this episode. And then at the bottom we have a speaker summary so we can see who is taking part in this discussion. So can you explain a bit more about the analysis graph that we have here? Yeah. So as we can see in the graph here, at the bottom we have the time, and this represents uh, the amount of audio that's been played in the episode. And then on the left here we have our micro F1. On this graph, we're looking for two things. First of all, is which speaker speaking at a specific time? And then secondly, which role they're participating in? So the first part is trying to say, is this, for example, Michael Burke? Is it Claire Fox or is it somebody else? And then it's trying to say, okay, so we think we know who the person is, now which role do we think they're in? So uh, in a typical episode of Moral Maze, we have the moderator who chairs the discussion and we have the panelists who are uh, semi-regular participants and then we have witnesses who are more specialized in that area and they're guests. And what types of data does dialogical fingerprinting use? Uh, essentially it's only focused on what people are saying so the, basically the, the transcript of the episode so there's, it's not the audio or any uh, visual it's only on what they specifically say that we're using to, to produce this. Fantastic. Thank you very much.